So we're gonna talk about one of the most important ways to use video case stories. Everyone should be using video case stories, not testimonials. If you don't know why you should be using testimonials, look in the links below, comment, wherever you're seeing this, I've got lots of content on there why you should be using video testimonials, but this is part of the fish in the barrel series. And we all have clients, prospects swimming around that we're not taking advantage of, that we're not helping as much as possible. We're not showing why we're the best. Video case stories are the best way to show them because we're all trying to get those big leads. But let's talk about that. You build a funnel out, right? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to capture more of them, the number one place to capture more people in that funnel. The number one place to capture more people when you go on a speaking event or you're driving traffic or your SEO or your PPC, the one place that literally almost everyone will go. 80% of the time, it works 100% of the time. And what am I talking about? I am talking about thinking about the customer journey. You, you put an ad out there. You put a funnel out there. You put a landing page out there. You get on someone's podcast. You get on someone's show. You go um, drive PPC traffic. You've got SEO. Someone gives you a referral. Are you driving traffic as referrals? You want to capture more referrals. What is the first thing that literally everyone is going to do? They're going to Google your name. They're going to Google, Google name your business. This is your online reputation. And what does someone see? when they Google your name, when they Google your business. Now you might have tons of reviews, right? And that is great, but here's the, there's a few problems with reviews. You get 317 reviews, 150 reviews, all five stars, that helps. That helps with SEO, that helps with conversion, but do people remember your reviews? No. In fact, I, you know, when I go to Amazon and look at reviews, I don't look at the reviews that say they're great. I look at the reviews that tell a story, right? You probably do the same thing. And I remember those things. Oh, I remember someone saying, well, this is a good point. This is a bad point. This was my problem. This was the solution. We kind of don't trust those reviews that just say you're great, AKA testimonials, right? We want to see a story. So reviews show up, that is great, but Case stories do a lot more than that. Video case stories, A, can rank. YouTube versions can rank for your name in YouTube. So it can rank for your business name, your business name plus reviews, your personal name, people talking about working with you. And that's what we want. We want someone to talk, tell their story because that's what referrals are. Is someone telling the story of working with you, not just saying you're great. Um, and if someone does say you're great, there's still a story behind it. So. That is one of the ways because it takes up more space. So you can get a YouTube video ranking for your name. You get a Facebook video ranking for your name. You could get um, other video platforms all ranking on the first page of Google for naming your business. So you're taking up space. But on top of that, what does that do? It builds your authority because there's other people talking about you, people telling a story. And if I click on that, and watch that story, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pay attention to the story. I'm gonna remember that story. I'm gonna have a feeling about that story if it is a case story. And if it's authentic, if it's someone really talking about it, and, and there's ways that we can talk about to get that authenticity. But if someone's just giving that testimony, that like, Ion is great, I love Ion, there's no emotion in that. But there's emotion in stories. So we will remember stories, we will feel something, in my first encounter with you. So now when I see things, you've added this extra dimension to your online reputation, plus you are controlling it. So no one can go rank for your name. You can't have these other directories ranking for your name because if you, if you have a directory ranking for your name in the top four spots, they're gonna show other businesses. Yes, YouTube might show other businesses, but there's not this emotion, this engagement. So now we've controlled the space. We're telling stories about you. People get a, more of an emotional reaction when they first Google your name. And this is within the first two, three minutes of discovering you. It is your first impression. Think about how much time you spent on a logo or thinking about your website. Websites are important. 
thinking about, I'm not a big fan of logos, but websites are important. You spent all this time, maybe you bought an office, you made it beautiful. You're thinking about what you're wearing, right? You're thinking about your business cards, if you think about those anymore, I don't. Um, you know, you're thinking about your letterhead and, and the font and the paper and all this experience. But the number one experience that everyone goes through is the online reputation. And you can use Facebook and video and YouTube video and LinkedIn video and all sorts of things to control that online reputation. And then if you have customers, clients talking about you, telling stories, there's going to be a higher engagement rate. So what happens now, too, is if we get to know, like, and trust the person in that story. That's talking about you. I say, hey, that person's like me. If I see that that person's like me, what does happens? I like that person. I trust that person in some way, shape, or form because I see some authenticity. I see some emotion. And now it becomes a virtual referral because it's like getting a referral because that's what referrals are is a transfer of trust. And if I can somewhat trust this person I'm seeing on the other side and say, hey, they have a business like me. They had a problem just like me. And now they're telling me the story of working with you, their problem and how you help solve those problems, how you help transform the emotions you brought out in this amazing case story. You've got that virtual referral on top of it. So I'm now I've seen you in a funnel and I've seen you in other places and now I'm seeing real people talk about you in other places. We'll get into more ways of doing that, but this will help the conversion of everything you're doing. On top of it, you can do things like when they go here, we can do things like retargeting. They will now, if they go to your YouTube channel, they're more likely to see your YouTube video show up. If they go to your Facebook page, they might like your Facebook page without opting in. And we can do so much because of this traffic. On the flip side, if you Google your name and it's just a bunch of directories, some reviews, but there's really nothing different about you and I'm looking at five different people, what are the chances that I'm going to remember you? What are the chances that I'm going to, it's going to help you? Probably nothing. This is the one place we all should be spending time. So now from a technical standpoint, I've, in all these videos, you know, this part of your fish in the barrel, you know, there's fish swimming around, you're driving this traffic and they're, they're ready to be caught and they want to know why they should be, you know, swimming with you. Um, <laughs> We want to create different versions and i'm talk about in all these videos about different versions because we should be creating cold warm and hot versions i've got a link to that if you don't understand cold warm and hot but essentially cold don't know you warm know they have a problem or looking for help hot know you and are trying to understand you and different links depending on where they are in the funnel what platform you're on youtube can be a little bit longer a lot longer obviously facebook in certain places can be a lot shorter so in this play, right here, right now, we're going to talk about having mid length versions because we want them ranking, right? Unless it's YouTube shorts right now, YouTube shorts can rank pretty highly, for, especially for terms like your name. So you can have these sub 60 second videos ranking for your name, but I like having longer versions too. Why? Because you have a chance of engaging and YouTube rewards the length of the video, right? The longer the video, the more engaged people are, which stories are, the better chance that they're gonna watch, better chance they're gonna take action and spend more time on YouTube so YouTube's gonna reward you. Uh, so I want those mid-length versions. I want platforms, like I said, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. These are all places that are being indexed. LinkedIn, not so much, but YouTube and Facebook for sure, and somewhat Twitter, can be ranked in the Google index, all right? So you could have those spots. Now you're not gonna have 10 of your pages showing up on the first page of Google, but you can have each of these platforms. So those are the lengths, the versions I'd have, and also the platforms. Um, you know, this is the place that you've gotta be spending time thinking about it. You probably should be checking this at least every two weeks, if not once a week. I've set up Google alerts. So if anything changes in my name, uh, the names of our businesses. I get those emails. It's a simple thing to set up. We'll put a link to setting up Google Alerts down below. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. And also, if you haven't, uh, make sure to subscribe to this series. 
Uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos that come out in this series of specifically about 13 ways. I might throw a few bonuses in there. There's some stuff changing. Uh, you're gonna get the fish in the barrel checklist as well as a few other great resources like the six ways, the six things that every video case story needs to have. And I'll also send you a video on why testimonials stink and case stories are the way to go, especially video case stories. All right, if you have any other questions, let me know below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.